Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, two videos are going to follow here. One about uh, Windows Update Troubleshooter that can help you if you have problems with Windows Update. And another one with a very specific error message that um, you might have another thing that you can try to help Windows Update work. Remember, Windows updates that don't work have several causes. One could be any files that are corrupt while the downloads happened and then the update can go through. But it could be software installed on your PC, including and often almost exclusively due to third third party antivirus. If you're running anything else than the standard security app, Windows Defender, it happens often that there's a clash between Windows updates and third-party antiviruses. So if this troubleshooting doesn't work and the other video doesn't really um, have the error message you have, try doing a Windows update without your third-party antivirus. It might actually go through. So um, there's a troubleshooting that can be done within Windows. It works, I would say, about 60% of the time. So you got six out of 10 chances of maybe having a good Windows update if something goes wrong using this. Go to your Start menu and go into the, the uh, Settings app. It could be right-clicking on the Settings app if you want. When you go to Update and Security, you will see on the left side there's something called Troubleshoot. Here, you'll go to Additional Troubleshooters. And in here, you will see that there's a Windows Update. Resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows. Click Run the Troubleshooter and let it do what it has to do. Uh, if it asks you to restart the PC, even if it doesn't, restart your PC. Don't shut down and start. Restart. There's a big difference, once again, between those. And if all goes well, and if you're a little bit on the leaky side, this will probably fix your Windows update problems. Then the update's gonna go through. Remember, never shut down your PC while an update's happening. Never think that because it stopped at a certain percentage that it's not doing anything. Just go away, do something else, and let it do what it has to do. And this is one of the biggest problems where people break Windows update they decide that, oh, well, it doesn't do anything, so I'm going to stop the computer. And that's the biggest error that probably most people do. Uh, depending on the age of your PC, it could take a lot of time before this actually does work. Once it's done, restart, go back to Windows Updates, of course, and in Windows Updates, well, click Check for Updates and see what happens, see if it works, and see if everything's all right. Um, like I said, for a lot of people, this actually does fix problems. So this could be um, a, uh, a, a problem fixer for you. An easy one, of course, because it's not always easy to fix Windows updates. And like I said, if it doesn't work, if you are using, you know, Kaspersky, McAfee, Symantec, um, you know, uh, any other antivirus, Bitdefender, Try without the antivirus. You can always re-download it and reinstall it if you need. Uh, it's not a problem. But uh, it happens often that Windows updates can be broken because of the way that antivirus try to block the files from being written. In certain cases, there could be a clash between both. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.